school of thought says they went up the north side, which is on the other side of Old 40 there. And we get around the corner, I can point to you uh, an approximate spot. Trails West has put a monument up there near Lake Angela for wagons that would have gone that way. I'm not attached to either theory because I don't know enough. There are uh, quotes from the diaries that seem to suggest one or the other. I kind of look at it better uh, from human nature point of view. If I'm driving on a two-lane highway, I find it really frustrating because I'm always behind the slowest driver. And I want to pass. And I can't imagine that the wagon train people were any different. I can imagine that if you were eating the dust of the train in front of you, the first chance you had to peel off and take another route, you'd do it. So it may be that there were two routes up Donner Summit. Uh, we don't know the answer to that. But certainly this is an easier side. They wouldn't have come up through the center because it would have been too hard, too hard to do. But that spot I was talking about on the north side, I went out with the Trails West guy some years ago, and uh, he showed me. We got off the road there, and then about 20 feet off the road, there's a rock that's uh, you know, about as high as this. And they used to go over rocks like that. They would put rocks in front. They would put logs up so that they could, you know, the wagon wheels could get over it. And there are some rust marks there. And then more telling is that he pointed out to a groove in the rock. So if there were a lot of wagons going over, their iron tires would have put this groove in. And then he says, you know, the, the width of the wagons wheels then, the, the, the wheelbase, was five feet. And he goes five feet to the other side, and there's a groove. Hmm. That looks pretty good, but mm -hmm. there have been a lot of tractors up here. There's a petroleum pipeline that comes through and on part of this trail. There's a fiber optic cable that goes through here. The Dutch Flat Wagon Road was built here, the Lincoln Highway, various other iterations before they got to Highway 2. So we're probably never gonna know the answer. But those pictures I sent around, uh, I think I sent around four or five different pictures show you what this looked like in those days. The Lincoln Highway was put together from existing sections of road. It wasn't built fresh. It was put together by private group, did it by subscription. People bought in like they had a magazine subscription, contributing money to this private effort to put together a highway all the way across the country. And it was the very first national commemoration for Abraham Lincoln. And we'll talk about it a little bit more as we get further down. But along with this highway, putting together these sections, the Dutch Flat Wagon Road went through here, and then there were county roads here. This was a stock road, too, where they took sheep up and down. Uh, this was used a lot before it got put together by the Lincoln Highway. But along with that, the Lincoln Highway came up with the very first engineering specifications so that cars could travel on the very best sections that were graded and graveled, 35 miles an hour. Can you imagine traveling through Nevada at 35 miles an hour? Well, you wouldn't have because that wasn't one of the best sections. Only about a third of the highway was the best kind of section. The rest of it was something less than that. And we're going to talk about a uh, story of that uh, in a little bit. Trucks, the highway was engineered for trucks to go at the incredible speed of 10 miles an hour. There were 150 transcontinental travelers in 1913 when they put this together. By 1923, there were between 20 and 25,000. The 1914 official guide said it would take 19 days to cross the country, traveling 10 hours a day at an average of 18 miles an hour. So the next time the kids start whining about <laughs> when are we going to be there, give them a dose of reality. So this is the Lincoln Highway. We're going to stay on this uh, for a while.